Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Trucks Only. I'm Harvey from Hutch's Welding, and on today's episode, um, first I actually wanna tell you a little bit about Trucks Only and what it is. Uh, it's basically just a little side passion project that I've started. Uh, basically just wanna showcase some truck builds. I got a lot of friends building some pretty cool trucks, uh, and I'm just trying to you know, provide information and content and just kind of uh, talk about a bunch of, you know, just kind of want to talk about just kind of want to showcase and bring to the, to the audience information about you know building trucks and you know what it takes and different options and you know a bunch of cool stuff like that this bad boy we're going to get to uh a little later and this guy over here we're doing uh something very special here but so on today's episode we're actually going to talk about uh, a future project of mine or one of my projects um basically the the next uh, version of Taylor, uh, which is actually another truck. Um, I haven't even unveiled it yet, but we did get the very first piece to the puzzle. Um, and I'll go ahead and present to you the, uh, the Porterbilt drop member. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of you may not know that this even exists. Uh, it is a Porterbilt drop member for a 61 to 64 F100. Um, and what a drop member is, is uh, Porter built a company that primarily did a lot of does a lot of C10s uh, and they created a cross member they called the drop member that actually allows you to fully lay the truck out on a 28 inch tall tire which is a, um, which is basically like a 22 uh, so they've been they've been very popular in in the truck aftermarket industry um, the van actually does have a Porterbilt um, drop member on that. Um, the, that truck uh, it has something different, some highly modified that are highly modified that it already came with, but that's a different story. So basically, um, what I like about this, I just want to showcase and talk about uh, why I chose this and why uh, you know it's it's pretty cool. Um, one major thing that I really like about it is it actually gives you frame rails. Now, I'm pretty sure the reason they give you frame rails is because the factory F100 has uh, a straight axle or a twin I-beam, and the rails are straight, so if you were to just put the cross member, any cross member directly up to it, there's uh, there will probably be a lot of heavy fabrication and welding required. Um, I did also notice that a lot of times when you do buy a truck, someone's already done something to it you know some sort of front end so sometimes the front end you can't use you got to cut it all up anyway so i really like that they provide you a you know uh, frame rails from the cab forward um right off the bat i'm pretty damn impressed i i have seen a couple of these in person you know on on c10s but i'm really happy that they designed something for the f100 um really really nice 316th plate all laser and uh you know got these uh robot mig welds you know it's uh hutch's welding approved really nice uh that's your cross member so this is this is pretty much designed to be all bolted as you can see here that these uh actually slide over the frame rails and gets bolted in um I'm probably gonna weld some stuff in and probably modify a few things, but you know, for the for the everyday guy or for the average guy, you know, you could bol essentially bolt this in, and that's one of the beauties of the drop member for the C10s is it's it's a bolt-in ordeal, so that's that's really nice. But just want to showcase a little bit about this. I mean, as you can see, some nice heavy-duty tubular. Oh shit! As you can see, some nice heavy-duty tubular control arms. Pull this guy out and kind of show you. I mean, these things are pretty pretty damn stout, pretty beefy. There's your lower there. Uh, there's your upper, nice machined, nice machined piece. Um, do a little bit of caster adjustment there. There's your uh, upper bag mount here. That'll just kind of bolt up. Um, what else you got? I did get uh, these are the shock mount, the shock mounts. So probably that's right. They're gonna uh, attach over here. Got a nice uh, heavy duty sway bar, and this I believe is the front. It's got a little front. Um, little front cross brace there so um this does oddly enough i know what you're all gonna say go for tough with chevy stuff 
it's it's built around C10 uh, ball joints, which allows you to use a C10 drop spindle. There's tons of these uh, products available on the market for C10. So, and since they primarily dealt with C10s, uh, I, you know, it's not a bad thing that they kind of are able to reuse some of their components. So I am going to be getting a, I believe I got this for a 63 to 70. So I will be getting a uh, drop spindle, which I just found out Willwood makes one. So I'm going to go ahead and get a Willwood drop spindle. Um, and then I did have to do a little bit of uh, research and figure out what hub I want to use. And the only reason I had to configure, because they sell all the shit for C10, is that I want to use a five by four and a half bolt pattern. And the reason I want to do that is because I like running my Japanese wheels, uh, which are a five by 114.3 bolt pattern. So, and typically, uh, typically the Chevy's five by 475, I believe, and or five by five and a half. So um, I did, I was able to figure that out. So I'm super happy. And uh, yeah, so you get, you know, you get a bunch of hardware, you know, nice stuff. Here's your ball joints. All grade A hardware. Uh, this is your steering kit, uh, bump steer kit here. There's some nice rod ends. Uh, what else? What else we got going on? Oh, another thing I noticed is that if you kind of, if you look and see, the frame rails actually are uh, narrow in a little bit, which allows you to kind of have a narrow track width, so you can run big wheels and you can turn low. Um, I do run a Crown Vic on the, you know, my 63 right now. And even with the Fat Man arms, it's still too wide. Um, it served me very well for the time, but I have 20s that I want to put on it. And I want to be, you know, barely off the ground and be able to turn and not have to worry about any kind of rubbing or any issues like that. So um, this stuff is already developed. It's ready to go. So this is why, you know, it's one of the reasons why I went with it. Yeah, I could probably make my own. I'm highly capable of it. But as far as, uh, you know, more important projects and um, just time versus money and, you know, development. That's why I went with that. So, um, I think that about wraps it up. So the cat's out of the bag. There is a new version of Taylor coming out. Um, when I don't know, but this is like the first step in that direction. Also, I have the truck. We'll pull that thing out one day. Uh, it's safely tucked away, hiding, you know, away from the weather. Uh, real nice patina on it. We'll go ahead and get that thing out one day, kind of do a walk around, you know, show a little bit about it. But um, I think that's about it. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Uh, thanks again for watching like subscribe comment, you know all the above all the fun stuff You can find me on all the social media platforms such as welding and uh, Thank you again and have a great night